Today's reading takes us from Psalm 11 to Psalm 16. And during the course of these chapters, we see David being very direct with God in his emotions, his fears, and even his questions in asking, how long, O Lord? Now here's the thing. I talk to people who will say things like, the Bible never talks about anxiety or stress, so it doesn't apply to me. But is that really true? Let's consider Psalm 13 for a moment as we think about that statement. In Psalm 13, David records for us a prayer he has to God in which he starts off by saying, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord, my God. Light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemies say, I have prevailed over him, lest my foes rejoice because I am shaking. In this psalm, it's clear to us that David is overwhelmed and distressed to the point where he feels like his life is coming to an end. It's in this state that David is crying out to God to come and to intervene on his behalf. Maybe you can relate to this feeling of overwhelming pressure, like the world is closing in on you. Maybe you too have asked the question, how long is this going to last? The question, how long, is often the question that can weigh the most on us because it feels like nothing is going to ever change, like there's no hope. But ultimately, how does David respond to his own emotion of fear and anxiety? David goes on to say, but I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. David finds his comfort in knowing that he serves a loving God. When David has questions about what the future holds, he ultimately makes the decision to trust the God who holds the future. When we know how great our God is and reflect on that during our times of stress, then we too can learn to trust him with our fears and anxieties.